by popular demand. Let's all welcome on stage the talented quartet composed of Steve White as Paul McCartney, Stephen Hill as George Harrison, Tyson Kelly as John Lennon, and Gordon Elsmore as Ringo Starr. Not only do they sound really authentic, but their resemblance to the originals is definitely remarkable. Ladies and gentlemen, let's all welcome the bootleg Beatles. Um, you guys have been touring around the world since um, since 1980. I mean, for many years since 1980. Can you share with us um, any of your most memorable experiences during the period? Gosh, there's lots. Um, hi, I'm Steve, by the way. How are you? All right. Hello, Steve. Hello. Hello. Uh, you look incredibly like Tyson. Oh, that's <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, so we've had a lot of mem memorable occasions um, throughout the bootleg Beatles career. Um, to mention a few, um, we were lucky enough to play um, at Buckingham Palace uh, during one of the Queen's Jubilees. Uh, we were lucky enough to play uh, at the Royal Albert Hall, which we do um, most years. And also Glastonbury, which is a big, big festival over in the UK of live music. And it's always a joy to play such a thing like that. But to be fair, we always have a fantastic time whenever we come to the Philippines. We really look forward to it. Yeah. Um, we get trek better here than anywhere we've ever been. So I've got to say, guys, you're amazing. Thanks for having us again. It's great. Right. Yes, you know, when I started rock and roll music, I never thought we'd be coming to the Philippines to rock out. But here we are, you know, it's a fantastic trip. You, you treat us so well, you know, the fans, obviously we've played in front of a lot of crowds, you know, but it, when, you, when you look at the fans, out here they really go nuts you know it's absolutely mind-blowing you know you think you're actually you know them really <laughs> <laughs> they, they treat us very well here i, I wish we'd, we like could them. stay longer you know i understand you've got a very large mall as well yeah. not mall mall <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well yeah it's just exactly what stephen tyson said you know it, this is one of our favorite places to come of all the great things we've done over the years, this is one, you know, the one that we love to do, the, you know, the most. It's a great place, great fans, great gigs, always has been. Mm -hmm. Okay, pretty cool. Yeah. They've said it all. <laughs> okay, maybe you can answer this. I mean, um, I, I know you guys are loving your stare, but uh, maybe you can answer this. How do you find a Philippine crowd? Um, like the boys have said before, um, the Philippine crowds are, are amazing. They're an amazing group of, uh, of, of people. The audience is a fact. In fact, they, they're probably the best of the whole lot, aren't they? What do you say? Absolutely great, yeah. I mean, um, I mean, obviously, you know, people from the Philippines are just incredibly kind and wonderful people anyway. But when we get to perform in front of you guys, you know, you guys, you just, you get into it and you really enjoy it, love it so much. And that kind of spurs us on because when we see what's coming back from you guys, you know, that sort of makes us happy and we, uh, you know, give as much as we can give. Uh, have you ever, have, have any of you have had a close encounter with any of the Beatles and watched their concerts when you were kids? Uh, I, I don't know. Um, sadly, no. Um, we, we've come close many times. Um, I mean, just recently uh, we were performing at um, Glastonbury, uh, the music festival I mentioned earlier, and uh, Sir Paul McCartney was playing the night before, and we was playing the following day. So we 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 didn't we couldn't get there the day before and watch his show and meeting. Instead, we had to arrive the day after, and by which time he'd already left. So. There's been so many close encounters, but we've never actually rubbed shoulders with the uh, with the originals. You know, uh, the old lineup in the past, which was the original lineup that started in 1980, those guys were lucky enough to uh, meet the Beat or some of the Beatles. Um, I know they met Paul McCartney. I know they met George Harrison. Uh, they also met um, Sir George Martin, who obviously was the Beatles producer. But the, but the great little quote from um, George Harrison, when he was speaking to bootleg George, who was the original George in the band, George said to bootleg George, who is the bootleg Brian Epstein? Because he's got all the money. <laughs> nice little quote. Thank you very much.
You're welcome. Now I'm going to go here on the center aisle. We got another gentleman who's been dying to ask you something. Hi, uh, Chris here from uh, One Music. Um, oh. So, uh, speaking for the respective um, respective Beatles that you portray, um, what do you think makes them uh, special for for you? What makes them special for you? Well, that's the the magic question, isn't it? You know, nobody seems to know, but those four four lads, something about them that made them what they are but well, nobody what, knows what that magic is what is it special to you nobody knows to me it's just them you know such vast music such a short space of time you know anything they did everybody copied and by the time people had copied it they were moving on to something else you know whether it's the music the fashions or you know everything they did it's uh, nobody knows the answer to that question even even me I mean, yeah, I played John, so I was really connected with John. What made John special was his personality, his quirky sense of humor. I really connected with that. I always thought, wow, he's just like me, because I kind of was always the class clown, you know, school and stuff. And uh, so I really resonated with his vibe, and, and, then, and then to find out that, you know, uh, a lot of my favorite songs were, were his and Paul's, you know, or that he sang on or whatever. Uh, just really, I just resonated with that, you know. So everything about, um, just uh, yeah, you know. How do you, how do you uh, deny it? Yeah. Do you want to go, Rick? Yeah, it's just uh, consistently good songs, songs you know over and over again. There's not many bad people songs. I can't think of any really bad ones at all. There's a few that maybe not as popular as others, but. But they're all really, really good. Uh, so there's about 200 really, really good songs. Uh, I think that's the, probably the, the, the best thing about them, really. The, the songs are always really, really good. Um, well, I, and also, they knew each other from a very early age as well. So they, they could work with each other in a, in, a, in a way that a lot of other bands couldn't. They, the sound of their voices together was, this, was one sound. You know, it wasn't like three different sounds. They learned how to to sing so that it was just one sound and they were very very um they were very very tight together i think that also helped as well well i, I would say probably my affinity with paul um obviously I, I i became aware of the beatles through my father's record collection um as probably most people did who are here today you know they stumbled upon the beatles accidentally um and out of the four of them, having watched footage of it, him performing and playing, I just, I, I felt that when I performed on stage, I performed similarly to him. I had similar um, mic technique, I had similar movements on stage. And, um, and as I got more and more into the Beatles, I learned that we, we were born in the same month. So I just naturally feel quite akin to him. Um, I think Paul is born on the 18th of June, where I'm born on the 1st of June, so we share the same birth sign, and it feels, it just, I don't know, it just feels very natural to, to imitate him, and I feel very sort of close to him with regards to that, you know, similarities in personality, maybe, I don't know, but I hope that's uh, answered your question. Thank you. Who knows? Guys. All right, any more questions from our dear audience? All right, here we go. Hi, uh, Hello. Hi guys, I'm Rumel from Pep.ph. I noticed that you're all uh, wearing the, the costumes from the uh, Let It Be uh, uh, movie of the, of the Beatles. Yeah. So yeah. I'm going to ask you your reaction to two of the two movies uh, uh, that are about the Beatles. Uh, first, your reaction to yesterday uh, was it uh, was it a sacrilege or is it, uh, uh, it did they did uh, did it, they did good with that movie or and Peter Jackson said it be uh, what are your reactions to 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 uh, those very good movies? question yeah very good question um, you know I, I really enjoyed Across the Universe uh, when that came out. I, I thought it was going to be a bit cringe, but they actually they did a really good job. It's really hard to cover a Beatles song, right? Because there's, it's just, it is a bit of a risk, and there's so many 
covers that just will not be as good as the Beatles. I think one of the famous covers that is great is Joe Cocker's Little Help of My Friend, which is actually an amazing version, right? So I agree on that. But it's most of the time, it's, it's very much a huge risk because you're just going to fall on your face if you try to cover Beatles song. Now, with Across the Universe, I thought they did a really good job of making a modern version of that. Now, with Yesterday, I, I think uh, it was a really cute idea. Uh, now, this is just personally my opinion, and, and the rest of the guys can speak about it. But yeah, I watched it. I thought there were some cute moments, but it was a bit cringe for me personally because it, it's too close to home, right? So the idea that if a songwriter today who, you know, is okay, just kind of starts playing songs. I really liked the main actor. I, I love him, but, you know, I just, in no world would anyone react that way. You know what I mean? The songs do stand up for themselves, but when they're presented like that. Anyway, so personally, yesterday, I thought it's good, A, it's good that it's bringing Beatle attention because that's great for obviously just spreading the word about the Beatles. It was a nice little push in popularity. Um, and I, I support it in a, as a whole. Like I would prefer to come out as, as opposed to never seeing the light of day, but you know, it's a bit, yeah, it's a little too cringe. Uh, now, Peter Jackson's Let It Be, obviously, was a tremendous job. You know, I would love to see a biopic film of the Beatles where they did it really well. I, I would love that. Um, but, yeah, I've yet to see that. I mean, there's a couple of good ones out there. Yeah. Um, now, the Let It Be show was, was fantastic. It was obviously footage of the Beatles, and I thought, um, that was so incredibly uh, heartwarming to see. Yeah, yeah absolutely. I, I, me personally, I think the, the Yesterday film, I probably agree with you. Um, I thought the Yesterday film was, it, the, the idea of it was clever. Um, I thought it was a very clever idea. And of course, you know, as, as Tyson said, the music speaks for itself. So the music's always gonna, you, you're always gonna win with the music. Yeah, maybe you know, maybe it was a, it was a little bit silly, but you know, I mean, it, does that really matter? You know, um, I, I, I guess I, I wouldn't say it does. Um, I suppose from a a Beatle um, tribute band pers uh, point of view, yeah, it's probably a little bit silly, but I enjoyed it all the same. I thought it was great. Um, the uh, Get Back Peter Jackson film was just incredible. Have, have you all seen it, by the way? Has, has all of you seen it? Everybody, I don't see it. So it if you hadn't, if you hadn't seen it, you must yeah, yeah. watch this thing. It's just absolutely incredible. Um, I mean, the one thing that I found fascinating about the film—I mean, obviously, there's a wealth of information in there for people like us that have to perform that on stage, so you can kind of see them doing it, which you've never had that luxury for years. What I loved was the fact that. You know, it's all been cleaned up and it's so crisp and sharp when you watch it. It looks like it was filmed yesterday. You know, pardon the pun. It looks like it was filmed, you know, just the other day. You can't believe that that's sort of, I don't know, 60 years ago or whatever. It's just incredible to see that amount of detail and the way that it came over. And then watching the guys as they... You know, we know what the songs are going to be. We've got the luxury of knowing what songs they released. But at the time of the filming of the film, they weren't written. And you can see them stumbling upon their ideas as these songs. Are, and you, I, you, I found myself willing, willing them on. I was, oh, come on, you're nearly there. You, you know, you've nearly got it. It was just incredible. It was, it was just amazing to see. Uh, I thought it was a superb job. Can you add anything, boys? Basically, yesterday was rubbish. <laughs> <laughs> and get back was brilliant. Could you dress that up a little? Um, well, yeah, basically, that's, yeah, it was okay, you know. But get back was fantastic, you know. If they could do, if they could find more footage like that from the early days or, you know, the middle part of the career and clean that up as well. Because there's bound to be thousands of people have got things hidden in lofts and, you know, there must be some other footage that's never been seen that can be cleaned up and, you know, played to people like us and you and, you know, everybody who loves the Beatles. Fantastic. Yeah, I, I didn't mind yesterday. I thought it was okay because I think... Um, you would say that. From you my point of view, yeah. I mean, I, you know, I took the kids to see it and, and we, all, we all enjoyed it. I think it's, I think the thing, we're obviously, we take it very, very seriously. Uh, and <laughs> we're dressed up here on stage. We take it really seriously. <laughs> uh, but, um, you know, it's also, you know, we, we don't own it. We don't own it. And if somebody wants to 
make the film that's fun and 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 jokey, then that's that's fine as well. You know, that's just another way of look. But the good thing about it for us was was that it brought Beatles music back into people's consciousness again and, and, and put it at the front of their minds. And so, of course, people wanted to come and see us then. Um, as for the Peter Jackson film, it, it's, ama it's an amazing film. What I liked about it most was that all these years since that happened, uh, people have said, oh, John said this to George, and George said that to Paul, and Paul said this to, uh, all written in books or in magazines, and legends and hearsay, and we actually got to see it happening first time. That was the good thing, it put a lot of rumors to bed, and ended a lot of speculation about what happened, so we could see what really happened. And that's why I enjoyed it, anyway. For this fantastic, fantastic uh, press interview, you've all been lovely, thank you for your precious questions. We hope we'll see you all there uh, at the show, and uh, we, we're in for a treat. Uh, it's gonna be fun, you know? We're gonna be uh, doing a few costume changes, you know? And you'll definitely recognize these suits. <laughs> <laughs> so come along, you'll enjoy it. This is gonna be a great, great night of lots and lots and lots and lots of people songs.